Did you know there was a Fortnite item only in the game for 41 minutes? Today, I'm gonna be going over 15 Fortnite updates that no one remembers. First up is the 4th of July launcher. I'm actually recording this video on the 4th of July, so of course I had to talk about this one. This was only in the game back in 2018. Epic dropped a new version of the grenade launcher that shot a little bit slower and shot out fireworks instead of grenades. It did the same amount of damage and was basically just a visual upgrade. And two weeks later, it got vaulted. So many people don't remember it. Guys, let me know in the comments how many of these updates you actually remember. Stars, if you don't remember this one, I don't blame you because it was only in the game for about three weeks. The stars at Starry Suburbs. It came out three weeks before the end of chapter one. So not many people got to play it. These stars would fall down from the sky and would be consumables on the ground. This was the first and only time you could get a gold tactical SMG. Me and the boys used to always land here for the guaranteed loot. But it was only in the game for three weeks and then it was gone forever. Oriella's Scar back in Season 6, Chapter 2. One of the highlights was Epic adding a small island south of Flush Factory. On that island, there was a few chests and an NPC named Oriella. One interesting thing, though, was that there was a guaranteed gold scar spawn on that island. That gold scar had Oriella's wrap already on it. This is the only time in Fortnite that's ever happened, so it's pretty unique. It had the same stats as a normal gold scar, so most people didn't really go out of their way, but it was an interesting addition to that season. Tipping the bus driver. Here's one of the more bizarre Fortnite updates. In Chapter 2, Season 7, certain NPCs you could pay 4,000 gold, pretty much all your gold, to tip the bus driver. Maybe you can drive the battle bus, go back to Spawn Island. What What are you going to get out of tipping 4,000 gold? But if you actually did purchase this uh, feature and tipped 4,000 gold, there'd just be a text in the feed saying someone generously tipped the bus driver and the battle bus noise would play. And that's it. I wonder if this is some kind of social experiment Epic was running. Back in Fortnite Season 4 Chapter 2, tucked away in the corner of the map was a collab with a car. So Epic actually labbed with Rocket League to bring a Rocket League version of the Whiplash into the game. It was in the mansion on the very, very far edge of the map. And I believe it had a slightly higher top speed than the regular Whiplash. And there was only one of them in the game. It definitely was fun to drive, but it was only in the game for a short period of time. Epic definitely needs to do more car collaborations. Okay, what if I told you there were Fortnite NPCs that could actually build? In Chapter 2, Season 3, Fortnite added a group of NPCs called the Marauders. They would appear from a rift in the sky and then drop down into the island on pods. And honestly, they were kind of tough to take on in a solo setting. Um, and they'd even build their own type of wood again against you and if you took them down they dropped some pretty decent loot they were only in the game for that season and it was something you didn't run into very often but when you did it was a pain next up we have the forgotten galactus weapon in the marvel season there was mini bosses in the game called galactus drones halfway through the match you'd see a big red laser beam in the sky which spawned a drone these things were kind of scary at first but could easily be dealt with if you strafed around their beams they would also shoot out these little mini drones that would try to annoy you but you could actually shoot down those drones now when you shot them down they would start to self-destruct but if you were quick enough you could actually pick them up and use them as a weapon these things shot pretty slow and did 37 damage but it was pretty accurate you pretty much could shoot with it until you dropped it okay everyone loves fortnite events but what if i told you there's one you don't remember it was a mini event but it was still pretty cool in season three after an update players discovered something they weren't expecting if you headed to craggy cliffs you'd find a crashed ship and you'd get a quest to go around the beach looking for parts of the ship to repair it if you returned all the parts to the ship it got fully operational and it actually create this huge force field around the area and rise up off the ground and take off it actually changed the map afterwards as well leaving rifts and guaranteed legendary chests pretty cool but Definitely not something you remember. I personally forgot this was a thing. All right, next up is Halloween jump scares. Back in Chapter 2, Season 1, Fortnite dropped a huge Storm King's Wrath game and a bunch of other skins in the game. So it was a pretty eventful uh, four nightmares. But one thing went unnoticed, and it was the jump scare zombies. There was a chance that a zombie would just jump out at you, and you could be doing something like entering a vehicle, farming furniture. You had a chance of getting jump scared and some 
sound effect that was terrifying would play as a zombie just spawn right next to you and started attacking you. This was hilarious and created for a lot of funny reactions. Next up, we have a really obscure item and it's Tiantina's Kaboom Canisters. These things were kind of like an early version of the gas tanks. You could pick them up, throw them, and it would explode dealing damage to players, but there were no cars to fuel with them back then and you actually carry them over your head. These things were never really used, but they were very glitchy. There was weird bugs that make you fly into the sky with them when you tried them. I'm kind of glad they're not in the game anymore. So Stranger Things season four just recently came out and everyone's asking for a Fortnite collab, but they already did a Stranger Things collab back in season nine, chapter one. And there were Stranger Things portals in Mega Mall. You'd walk through them and be teleported to a different portal in a different part of the mall. And I remember I was doing a kill race versus Nick Merckx and I walked through one of those portals and got hit with a spike trap. Did you know that there was portals in Fortnite? If you guys remember this, you are a super OG, but in season six, chapter one, they added an update to Wailing Woods Maze. And there was now this giant lab like underneath the maze and it had four different portals, one going north, south east and west they look kind of like rifts but if you entered them you'd instantly teleport to a building in a direction that you're going and they were pretty fun but a lot of people used to just camp those waiting for people to walk through them to get an easy elimination i hope you guys have been enjoying the videos lately one way to support besides subscribing is actually using my creator code cypher pk in the item shop thank you guys let's get back to this list this one came in chapter one season nine and this update was called hot spots basically every game a random poi would be a hot spot and if players dropped there there would be these little drones flying around the poi if you shot those drones down you'd get some pretty good loot out of them however what i think a lot of you forget is that these things came back in the marvel season chapter two season four remember those tony stark jets that landed in different spots around the map those drones were back uh, and they would kind of fly around those jets and they would drop much better loot. All right, do you guys remember the meteors? When chapter three dropped, we got tornadoes and lightning storms, you know, our first ever kind of realistic storm simulation, but we actually had meteors flying down from the sky in chapter one. There was a giant meteor in the sky and you could kind of see it getting bigger and bigger and people were freaking out. But there was also a bunch of uh, little mini meteors that would randomly fall throughout the game and they could potentially eliminate you break all your builds make you fall to your death and there's a hilarious clip of nick Merckx getting surprised by one of the meteors falling right on top of him okay so for everyone that has remembered everything so far unfortunately your streak is gonna have to end right here because i did my research and found a fortnite update that i haven't seen anyone talk about do you remember energy cells in fortnite everyone knows about the zapatron a sniper that was only in the game for about 40 minutes back in season one. It was only in supply drops and only one video of this actually exists. And it shows how OP it is. It did 150 damage and had no bullet travel. But as I was doing research for this video, I found something in this footage of the Zapatron that I had never seen before. Pause right here. For a split second after he opens it, it says munitions, cellular D energy. Now this video is recorded by a French streamer. So everything is in French, but what is this? I did some research and it translates to ammo energy cells that's right the zapatron doesn't use heavy ammo like the other snipers it has a fifth secret ammo type called energy cells if you knew about this congrats because it was only in the game for 41 minutes i actually made a video about fortnite items that are never coming back to the game you can check the video out right here god bless the editing team